Today I'm going to go over uh, GUIs or user uh, graphic user interfaces. Uh, there's a bunch of applications you can use to do simple dialog stuff. There's X dialog, K dialog, and there's even a G dialog. Uh, but one of my personal favorites is Zenity, and that's what I'm going to be going over today. Uh, basic uh, getting user input and then X displaying it at, at, in another dialog box. Uh, and there's other options I'll go over in future videos. So we'll start, if you don't have Zenity installed, it's in your package manager most likely, aptitude, install, Zenity. So uh, we're going to type Zenity, and the first thing we're going to do is we want to get a, uh, make an entry box so a user can uh, input information. So we're just going to use the entry switch, and then we're going to decide what the text, the question that we're going to ask the user. We're going to ask, what is your URL? Now if we hit enter here, you'll see we get a nice little looking dialog box here. Uh, you know, the, the user can put in whatever information they want. When they hit enter, it displays right here in the console. That right there is not very useful, but if we type the same thing and we put it in parentheses and we'll say x equals dollar sign parentheses and inside the parentheses that command, now when they input something, blah, 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 whatever, doesn't give us the output right away, but we can echo the variable we just created, x, and you can see we got what their user input was there, and we can put in a sentence, your site is x variable right there. Uh, now we can also set a default uh, option uh, by using, <coughs> excuse me, um, the entry text, so if we do entry dash text here, we can say uh, bash scripts dot info. We'll even put www in there. There we go. Now you see you get the same little dialog box, but by default it says bash scripts dot info, but the user can change that if they want. And once again, x is now equal to that, so we can say your site is whatever the user just typed in. Now we're going to take that and we're going to use an info box to display that information. So we already got the user information, so once again we're going to type sanity, and we're going to do info for info box. And we're going to set the text equal to um, your site is dollar sign x close parenthesis air quotations and you can see we got a little information box with the user input so to do that again we're gonna get user input bash scripts that info display it in a dialog box I wrote you site let's make that your site <laughs> there you go now if you want to do uh, uh, make it more instead of an information box you can make it an error box instead of info we'll just change this to error and you can see it changes the icon from what was a light bulb for information to a little error icon there so that's very uh, beginnings of using Xenity in the future we'll go over things like uh, calendars and process bars and uh, and uh, check boxes and radio boxes. So play around with it. Zenity, it's a great tool uh, available for most distributions. And please visit bashscripts.info for more information.